For more than half a century, the TPC Blue Monster has played host to some of the greatest moments in golf history. Would you believe it? What a shot by Craig Perry! Unbelievable! Championship over! Tiger Woods, 2005 champion after all. Justin Rose has won the WGC Cadillac Championship. But as much as this vaunted South Florida layout gives, it also takes. This one is dangerous. And wet now. There's another hoop in the water. This year, the world's elite descend on Doral to test themselves against this treacherous course and each other. And as witnessed already in 2013, the game's best are up for the challenge. Tiger Woods sends a message to the PGA Tour here in 2013. Started off with a 60, ends up with victory number 41. Matt Kuchar has added to his resume with a World Golf Championship Accenture Match Play Championship in 2013. Who will conquer this talented field in Miami on one of golf's most feared courses at the 2013 World Golf Championships Cadillac Championship? International Federation of PGA Tours proudly presents the race for the 2013 FedEx Cup. Today, live opening round coverage of the World Golf Championships Cadillac Championship. Miami, Florida, the city with a distinctive international flavor and flair, is again the backdrop for a gathering of global stars. 65 of the world's elite players have arrived here this week to try and stare down TPC Blue Monster, one of the game's most intimidating tests for more than 50 years. First group out, 11.20 local time this morning. And Phil Mickelson took advantage of the opening hole, the easiest on the golf course. Yeah, the 42-year-old with two WGC victories. Got to get off to a fast start. The first easiest hole on the PGA Tour 2012. Nice effort from long range for Phil. Tiger Woods, great success on this golf course through the years, his third at 14. Yeah, over the green, just playing a bump and run through the fringe, and nicely judged by Tiger. 16, the short par four. This is Woods' birdie effort. Yeah, down the hill, turning to his left. Perfect, and that would get Tiger to one under. Back to Mickelson, who found the rough at the fifth. And just 110 yards for Phil. Control the distance out of this Bermuda rough is tough to do. Fortuitous bounce off the down slope, and watch out. Oh, that had a great chance to go on in. Steve Stricker, haven't seen him uh, since the match play a couple weeks ago. This at the fifth. Yeah, playing a limited schedule. This is probably the best part of his game, and you can see why. At the eighth, the third for Dustin Johnson into the par five. Just trying to keep it a little bit lower, flight it properly, and beautifully done. That will produce the fourth birdie of the day for Dustin Johnson. Back over to the opening hole. Tiger just off the back edge here at the par five. Fifth birdie of the day for Tiger Woods, who moves to minus three. A hit to the par four second. Six birdies on the day, two since making the turn, and he's just a shot off the lead. Freddie Jakobsen for eagle at the 10th. Down the hill with the grain, That's moving right. right. What a start for the man from Sweden, Mickelson now at the eight. This is just what he's gonna try. Just kind of take that one hop and stop. There you go. Nicholson for birdie at the eighth. Curling that one in to move to minus three. Dustin Johnson at the tenth. Johnson on his way to a six under par start. Tiger Woods, Bubba Watson, Phil Mickelson all two back along with Steve Stricker, Sergio Garcia. An outstanding day for scoring. 39 players in red numbers. 
47 of the 65 in the field at even par or better. Tiger now at seven. Coming in from 161. Split the middle of the fairway here. It's a little late on underneath the breeze. On a pretty good line. Again, underneath the hole. Tiger hitting some very solid iron shots here on this closing nine. Jakobsen over at 15 here. Three birdies now to go along with two eagles for Jakobsen, who reclaims a share of the lead. McElroy from 159 here at the seventh. Yeah, first cut of rough. Pretty good angle. Right now, just just trying to find something that clicks. That one certainly clicked. Steve Stricker, opportunity for a birdie at 12. Stricker moves within one. It's at 13 we go. And Sergio Garcia for a birdie. Just peeling a little bit right. There you go, Sergio. McElroy for a birdie over at seven. And that was much needed. Getting Rory back to plus two. 15 playing 172. Nine iron for Dustin Johnson. Boy, they're just throttling this flagstick. That's a move to seven under. And here's Tiger for a birdie over at the seventh to move to five under. He's got in perfect position right up the hill straight in. That's eight birdies on the day for Woods. Opening round of the season's second World Golf Championship. The Cadillac Championship returns to TPC Blue Monster here in Miami. Mayhan for a share of the lead at 15. It's about the longest putt we've seen, Bill, on 15. Made it anyway. With some pace on it. Back to Tiger at the eighth. Coming in from 92 yards. Nice and low ball flight. Great distance control. Fantastic sandwich there from Tiger. Putting for his 10th birdie of the day. Johnson looks to push it to seven under. Just off center, if anything. McElroy for his second eagle of the day over at the eighth. And sliding down grain downhill will move to his right and very sharp. And see how it's just released past the hole. And McElroy for a little something positive here to get back to one over. It's for his second birdie in a row. As Jimmy was alluding to here, nice way to finish this round. Try and get another one here at nine and get in at even par. Be a pretty good result from some of the places he's been today. Now Tiger just a couple of feet for a share of the lead. Nine birdies offset by three bogeys. Woods would go on to par the ninth and finish with a six under par 66 in his opening round. I don't think we're going to get all four days where it's this wind. Um, it, it's got to switch sometime and start coming out of the east. And uh, if it does, that's when the golf course gets, you know, playing a little bit more difficult. But uh, today was as easy as it gets around this place. And uh, you know, consequently, I think that what 50 some odd guys are even par or better. 18 holes in the book at the season's second World Golf Championship. Excellent day for scoring. Very little wind on day one at Doral. 40 players in this elite field of 65 posting under par rounds. We've got a five-way tie at the top, including Tiger Woods, who played in the opening round with Rory McIlroy and Luke Donald. Phil Mickelson, the champion here a couple of years back, part of a group, one stroke back at five under. Day two in Miami and the brightest stars in the game are hoping for an encore of their opening round performance in which nearly two thirds of the field posted under par rounds against a defenseless TPC Blue Monster at Doral. But they all understand this course will exact its revenge at some point 
over the final 54 holes. Another beautiful day here in South Florida. The winds that usually whip through this golf course uh, were not a factor on day one and uh, do not appear to be much of a factor so far. On day two, 76 degrees out there, low humidity, ideal scoring conditions. We got some highlights for you. Phil Mickelson for a birdie at 14 to move to five under. Yeah, after coming off his first bogey of the week on 13, nice bounce back from the old man. Justin Rose here, just a little outside 20 feet for his second birdie of the day. Great note. And Rose on the tee here, the defending champion, five under at 15. 170 yards playing slightly downwind from the right. Hole location only five, four, three, two paces from the right and a marvelous shot. Rose for a birdie and a share of the lead. He's got it at six under at that point. Steve Stricker for a birdie here at 16. This for the outright lead. 67 yesterday, get him to seven under par for the tournament. Brad McDowell second here at 17. He stood six under. Love the shoes. 121 to a back middle front right hole location and spot on. That would produce a birdie to get to seven under. They were all jammed up when Rose made this at 16. The defending champion, three birdies in a row, gets him to seven under par. Just one back. Nice. So here's where we stand. Stricker, three birdies in his opening eight holes, playing alongside Watson and Mickelson. They said they were in a, a really good group yesterday, enjoyed the conversation and the company. The excellent scoring continues here in the second round. We pick up the action with defending champion Justin Rose in the fairway at the 18th, his ninth hole of the day. We see Justin Rose going flag hunting. Let's move quickly to five where Tiger has a chance to grab a share of the lead. Bill Kratzer. Well, coming off the birdie on number four, the very difficult par three, but back-to-back -back birdies. A little momentum with Tiger right now, guys. Now back to the first, McDowell for birdie. That first share of the lead. So three of them at eight under. To 18. Rose's bid to join the others at eight under. Back at the first, Mickelson. Stalking this one for an eagle. I guess you could uh, say that was a pretty decent effort. Dustin Johnson briefly held the lead yesterday before stumbling down the stretch. This one for birdie at four. That'll give him a lot of confidence. Back with the Mickelson group here. We hit the aggressive tee shot with the driver. It's left, left him 120 yards. This hole's still back into the wind. I said it yesterday, and I still believe he's one of the best, if not the best, all-time distance wedge play. Really controls the trajectory, the spin, and always seems to hit a lot of shots hole high, and certainly evident there. I'll head back to the seventh. Hole location right here. They're looking just right down the flag stick. And they threw it high in the air. Back to the second in Mickelson's birdie attempt. This one for a share of the lead. And Mickelson to eight under. Now back to the Woods group and a birdie attempt for Tiger here at seven. And he's really taking a long, hard look at this putt. Uh, kind of right in an area where the grain changes just ever so slightly. But he's actually been looking just outside right. Fixed a couple of pitch marks about halfway to the hole that were definitely to the right of the hole. This for his third birdie on the opening nine. A little hesitation there. He thought he might have, might have pulled it, but it was a good catch from the hole. Woods and Mickelson would continue to separate themselves from the world-class field. Mickelson at the third. 
Yeah. These guys are just taking dead aim. Yeah, I guess so. Mickelson can run this in for a share of the lead. This would be for three birdies in a row. I know it's early days, boys, but are we sensing a Tiger full stool over the weekend? To the eighth, third shot for Woods. We clipped it nicely. All depends on the bounce. Tiger to move to minus 10 over the eighth. Well, this putt downhill, down grain, just outside the right corner. Beautifully red. Mickelson now to move to 10 under. Mm. Finds the right hand side door. Four birdies in a five hole stretch for the left hander. He and Woods tied at the top. How great was the duel at Doral in 2005 between Woods and Mickelson, who are again tied at the top here today? It was really special. I think there was about 25,000 people on the first hole, and they played great. I talked to Phil a little bit about it. You know, he played a great last round, and almost made this shot. He shot 69 with a two-shot lead and lost. Yeah, Tiger 24 under, Phil 23 under. Amazing. Blew away the rest of the field. Amazing. Yeah, that was the uh, final blow there for Tiger Woods, the champion here at Doral. He won on this property three straight years, 05, 06, and in this event in 2007. Could we be in store for another Mickelson Woods duel on the weekend? Out to Woods at the 10th. Good look at the line, the bunker here for Woods, Bill. Very clean lie. I would think that he's going to fly this probably three quarters of the way there. Hard thing is this here is all uphill but straight back into the grain. So I think you've nearly got to fly it all the way up there. Which is really hard to do, visually intimidating, because what's beyond that flag is water. At the seventh, it was Mickelson. Lead it up off the tee. Lengthy second shot, and he's in a very poor shot, well wide of the mark. We move to Graham McDowell at the eighth for a birdie. McDowell underneath the hole. Should move just a little bit to his right towards the lake. A <laughs> little bit of body English. Ahead to Tiger at the tenth. Just inside nine feet here, Bill. Yeah, I'm looking just outside right, uh, kind of the old style greens, all the tilts from back to front. This is just the kind of putt you want. Nicholson for his par save at the seventh. He just tried to jam it in there, so it'll be just the second drop shot of the week for Mickelson. To the 11th. Tiger from 113 now. And now remember back at the fifth, he had 114 yards and he threw it in there about three feet behind the hole. Easy. Easy back. Got a little bit of a release. And he's got another great birdie opportunity. We go to nine. Here's McDowell. McDowell nine iron in hand, 160 yards. That hole located over there on that front right side. Superb control, fantastic. Let's catch back up with the Woods group. They've hit the 11. Well, Tiger with this birdie putt. Pretty easy putt, I think. This to get to six under on his round and the 15th, 15th birdie of the week through 28 holes. He and he did. Back to the ninth, McDowell. At nine iron here to just three feet underneath the hole. And moves within one of the lead. Nine iron for Mickelson. And Phil, a lot of things were very promising in this round. 
birdie the previous holy eighth. Come on. Likes the look of this one, and for good reason. Oh, I left it short. What a dazzling shot from Mickelson. He's going to get a two, but he was looking for a one. Over to 16 and Tiger putting for birdie. As well as he's putting. He's putting the best in the field. I, I would I would give it an over a 50% chance of making it. Very proficient at this length today. He, this is eight and a half feet, and he's 11 for 11 inside 10 feet. Yeah, he's certainly done a nice job over the last two days, Craig. Uh, squaring up the shoulders, squaring up the body. Putter blade able to release down the line. It's a nice birdie after the nice save at the, the previous hole and then the bogey at the 14th. Woods would finish with a pair of pars for a second round 65 and a two shot lead. You know, I, I feel like I'm, I'm playing well. I'm, I probably hit the ball better there at Torrey, but I'm putting better here. Um, so it, it all evens out. And, um, you know, with uh, the forecast of wind, I think that on, on Sunday, you know, hopefully, um, you know, I can hit the ball just as, a little bit better and um, still maintain my uh, my balance and my feel on the greens. 36 holes in the books at the Cadillac Championship, the season's second World Golf Championship. What a classy leaderboard and the best in the game with Tiger Woods and Graham McDowell playing in the final pairing on Saturday. Phil Mickelson, a past champion here, grouped with Steve Stricker. What a weekend it will be in Miami. It is day three here in South Florida, and through 36 holes, this world-class field has proven worthy of its reputation, putting on a sizzling display of golf against a defenseless course. But will the TPC Blue Monster bite back today on moving day in Miami? Or will the players on a very decorated leaderboard continue to have their way in pursuit of the season's second World Golf Championships title? Let's take a look at some of the early third round action, beginning with Graham McDowell for Eagle at the par five first. It's a nice start for Graham McDowell. Pulls it in for Eagle here at the first. Now Tiger to answer at the first. So just a birdie for Woods at the opening hole and Eagle for McDowell. And they're separated by just one shot. Ahead to the par for second. He's got it stuck up in the air. Has released beautifully towards the hole. A magnificent shot from Tiger. It'll be a birdie, birdie start for Woods. McDowell now for birdie. Over at the third. That's a beautiful three right in front of Tiger. Tiger looking to answer. Twentieth birdie of the week for Tiger Woods, who reclaims the lead by two. Now here on five, 132. We drive this one in nice and low. Control the distance. It's on a great line. This needs to get up a little bit. First miscue of the day for Woods. Comes up short here at the fifth. This one for par, not 12 feet here. We'll see if he can make two par saves in a row. First dropped shot of the day. Wood slips back to 15 under. We go to the sixth. McDowell can grab a share of the lead here. Right at 20 feet. Pretty aggressive line right there. And yeah, grab McDowell. Woods now at the par 5 eighth, his third. Beautiful shot from Woods there into the eighth. Will yield another birdie. To the 10th with Tiger. 103 to this right hole location. It's going to need to pump this up in the air to get some spin on it. Going to be landing on the down slope. What a shot. He is dialed in right now. Tiger would birdie the 10th to get to 17 under par, while McDowell dropped a shot at the par 4 11th. 
we pick up the action with the Northern Irishman just off the green in two at the par 4 14th. McDowell, after running it through the back of the green, actually drawn a pretty good lie. Most important on these shots here, especially coming back into the grain in this Bermuda, is keep the club moving. Stay aggressive through the ball. Otherwise, that will happen. That's an extremely poor shot from McDowell. Nicholson will give it a rip here at 16. <laughs> Doesn't need all of it. You turn it from left to right. Hit the little... Yeah, this front bunker's fine, and on the upslope, I'd give him 7 out of 10 getting that up and down. Back to 14. This is the first time McDowell has been a little unnerved today. Well, uh, you go back to the 10th hole where he three-putted for par. I think that's where it all started. Then you missed the short one at 11. That's a great recovery, but it's still going to be a bogey at the 14th. Ahead to 16, and Steve Stricker going for the green at the short par four. It's a low ball flight, too, so it's hard to carry that far when it doesn't launch up in the air, but took it further down the left, and a very good tee shot from the 46-year-old. Excellent. Now, meanwhile, has just dropped two shots at 14. Mm. Yeah, three over in his last four holes, and it, it all started with that three putt at the 10th. Mickelson second at 16. Oh. No way! Wow, almost a two. <laughs> Back to 15. With 9 iron in hand. 159 that carries the front edge. 166 back to the hole. Certainly on a good line. You bet it is. He's just jumping on the throats of everyone right now. He's, he's seen the little crack in Graham McDowell's armor, and he's not about to make any mistakes. Back over to Stricker, who's driven the green at 16. It's a difficult two putt, but it would be a nice birdie after the bogey, the previous hole. All right, so Mickelson and Stricker with short birdie putts to move to 13 under, and they now share second place. All right, Mickelson now, after a Bunker shot at 16, which nearly went in for an eagle. All right, so Phil's 13 under. Now these guys are thinking. Trying to get in that last group. Exactly. Yep, absolutely. And Phil is now alone in second. Stricker to join Mickelson. And a share of second at 13 under. Good. So now Stricker and Mickelson tied for second. Four back of this man. Another great opportunity here. Not a lot in this putt. It's about as straight as I can see it. And the lead is five. We move ahead in the action to Graham McDowell at the par 4 16th. This starting down the left hand side. Actually on a pretty good line, 290 to cover that front bunker. Beautiful tee shot, really. Got everything he could out of that, and it's going to run through the green, and that will be a great opportunity. Take that flag out and try to chip that thing in. Now McDowell to do just that. That is a fantastic chip in there from Gray McDowell. And he might be back in it here. McDowell with an eagle two. A spectacular shot at 16. We rejoined the action at the last where Woods has a chance to increase his lead to four with a birdie. Just a little outside 16 feet here, Billy, coming straight downhill. Back into the breeze, which will make it not quite as quick. Why not? 
Birdie at the last. Matching the low round of the day with a 67. Thanks, GMAC. We'll do it again tomorrow. So 54 holes in the books at the season's second World Golf Championship. Steve Stricker, Phil Mickelson played together. Once again, they will on the final day as well. So will Graham McDowell and Tiger Woods in the final pairing on Sunday as Woods takes a four-shot lead into the final day, chasing his 17th World Golf Championship. Miami, Florida, one of the world's most popular resort destinations, has been anything but a vacation this week for 65 elite players who arrived here from all points of the globe to meet the challenge of a World Golf Championship and a feared layout which claimed a surprising victim last year. But Tiger Woods would return to glory just two weeks later. Tiger Woods is a winner again at Bay Hill. A resurgence that continued throughout the 2012 season and carried into 2013. For more than a decade, he has dominated the series of marquee events, which has produced 16 of his 75 PGA Tour victories. With an unmatched focus and determination, which has been on display all week at TPC Blue Monster, Tiger Woods stands once again on the brink of world golf supremacy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. With the 2.40 starting time and a three-day total of 198, 18 under par, please welcome from the United States, Tiger Woods. The largest final round comeback in the history of this championship is three shots. That does not bode well for those giving chase here today. This man leads by four. He has never surrendered a 54 hole lead when leading by three or more. Tiger had a stretch in these World Golf Championships from 99 through 2009, not going an entire season without winning at least one World Golf Championship. Four time tour champion Bill Kratzer following this group for us today. Well, this tee shot heading up the right hand side, 286 covers the bunker down the right hand side. No problem with that. Swanee actually finds himself in a very similar place to where he was yesterday. With a three day total of 202, 14 under par from Northern Ireland, please welcome Graham McDowell. Successfully navigated 85 feet. At the 18th yesterday to two putt for par and play his way into the final pairing today. He had a lot of superlatives for the way Woods played yesterday. When he spoke to the assembled media, Tiger actually dipped into the back of the room at a certain point and Graham said, all right, that's enough of that. I can't say anything more with him here in the room. The last time these two players were paired together in the final round was last year's Arnold Palmer Invitational. Unfortunately, on that particular day, Graham shot 74 and finished second to Tiger Woods. Well, this is a good tee shot heading down the left-hand side of the fairway. Good start for Graham. Tiger, after parring the first, has a chance for a birdie. Yeah, he is looking very far outside to the right. Birdie at the second for Woods. Jumps to 19 under. So McDowell looking to match Tiger's birdie here at the second. You gotta keep pace, absolutely. And yes, slips it in that left hand side. Great start there for Graham McDowell. Adam Scott at seven. This man beat his first four holes of the day and bank another one there at seven. We move to the 11th second of Adam Scott. 
five under through ten holes. That's from 152 yards. Hole location just four on here at the 11th. Another beauty. All right, so Scott converts for his sixth birdie on the day. Now Mickelson looking for a 4-3 start to his day. Break towards us. And yes, Mickelson starts birdie birdie. Mickelson birdie at the fifth as the left-hander moves to 15 under. Now Stricker's chance. Stricker to 14 under, ahead to six. Stricker for a second straight birdie. And another one finds the bottom of the hole. To the fourth. Get him! Dazzling shot from Woods here at the fourth. Hottest player on the golf course, Adam Scott, for another birdie at 12. He's seven under on the day. Scott looking to put yet another birdie on the board. Move just to the right at the end. Did he hit it? Yes, he did. Now Mickelson at the eighth, his third to the par five. Just trying to cut that back up into the wind. Oh, what a shot from Mickelson. No way. Straight no. out of the top drawer. <laughs> uh, wow. Ahead to 10, and Stricker with a long chance at birdie. Stricker to 16 under. He's within four. With his lead still at four, we join 54-hole leader Tiger Woods in the fairway at the par 5 10. This is this new five wood. We put it in play this week. But you can launch it up high in the air. 288 to the hole, Craig. Yeah. When he's playing well, it's he has that left avoidance going. He's walking right after this one. How's that? What a golf shot. Does that work for you? Yes, sir. Just off the back edge for Woods. Mickelson's second at 11 inside 180. Well, he laid it well back off the tee. Doesn't look happy with that one, and that's why. To 18, and the proper angle coming in for Adam Scott. Yeah, he can hit the little draw, and that's precisely what he's done. Beautiful looking shot. Is it the right club? Another shot on the money from Adam Scott. A chance for another birdie and a round of 63. Mickelson from the bunker at 11. Well, it's a great shot, but you know, five back, he's, he needs to be having those for birdie, not for par. Back to Tiger, who plays his third after a beautiful second shot just over the back of the green here. Yeah, everything downhill, so this is very delicate. you got to put a little speed in the shot to elevate it. That is well played. Adam Scott for a closing birdie in a round of 63. What's well, a brilliant round of golf in these conditions 64 would just be incredible. Mickelson for par at 11. Oh my. And I think that bogey back at nine took all the wind out of Mickelson's sails. There's Tiger's birdie chance back at 10. Well he's looking right on the corner. Certainly do not expect him to miss this. 21 under par. Birdie number 27 on the week. Back in South Florida for the World Golf Championships Cadillac Championship. Here in Miami along the Atlantic coast in Southeast Florida. Nestled in between the Florida Everglades and Biscayne Bay. One of the most popular tourist destinations in the United States and some beautiful beaches, exotic tropical wildlife, seventh largest metro area in the U.S. and home to 
world famous South Beach, an eclectic scene down there. That's Miami's biggest hot spot. Population of more than five and a half million people. The Art Deco District containing the world's largest collection of Art Deco architecture. It is a fabulous scene here in South Florida and a fitting venue for one of the marquee events in the world of golf this week. So they head to the last and uh, McDowell will have the tee here. 475 yards of terror <laughs> has been today for sure. Dowell has parred this hole in the opening three rounds. You think he's thinking birdie? See if I can force something to I happen. I think right now he's thinking drive it in the fairway. Let's start with that. Yeah, you have got to keep it in the fairway to even have a chance at second place. That's uh, a very good drive right down the center of the fairway. Exactly what you needed. You know, stand up and hit a pump a tee shot right down the center. I know it's a 70 second hole. It gives you a lot of confidence as he continues to build on the good play this season for the major championship season, the remainder of the season. Surprise here, Billy going with the driver. Well, I can only believe that the thought process is to if he hits it solid and it happens to be a pull, he feels as though he's got enough in it that he can carry the water. Of all he's accomplished in his career, this is a, a big shot as he tries to win this championship for the seventh time. And that's certainly what you'd expect a big high cut don't want to mm -hmm. miss it left and uh looks like the lie is okay clear of the palm trees third for mickelson here wouldn't it be just like phil who hasn't had a birdie since the eighth to flip this one in yeah well he was in this exact position in 2005 when he had the jewel with tiger around the blue monster and lipped it out from this position didn't quite have the speed on it this time. Nicely done. They've walked the last 36 holes together. McDowell and Woods. A couple of major champions, both winners of the United States Open at Pebble Beach in their career. McDowell in 2010 and Woods with that epic performance along the Monterey Peninsula back in 2000. Seventy one. For the 2009 champion here. Beautiful play and from Steve Stricker. Started off the week giving Tiger a putting lesson and looks like he may finish second behind only one man, Tiger Woods. Four McDowell. rounds in the 60s for Stricker. Back we go to McDowell. This is a hard golf shot right here, guys. 205 yards to the hole, hole location, that back left. Ideally, you'd like to set it right at the towers in the back and gently turn it right to left. Now here's the towers right here. And I think his shot shape helps with the wind out of the left. He can turn it, take it at those towers Billy talked about, and just turn it back into a hold, neutralize the ball flight. Certainly done that. Ooh, that is this moving is aggressive. Left. This is aggressive. Oh, and it stayed up. On the rocks. I'm not sure if you're about to hit that. He may try, but that's a lot of jagged edges to those rocks that guard the lake there at 18. That was a go for broke shot from McDowell. This was Tiger's second. Well, he didn't even hesitate. Knows he's got the three shot lead. Dump yeah. it out to the left. And what a different narrative it has been this year from a season ago when Woods, if you remember, walked off the golf course. It was one of the low points yeah. in his career here. Had an Achilles tendon walked off after the 11th hole. In the third well, round, that was. Well, the only way this ball is going to be left of the hole is if it spins left. Oh. 
What a mistake. Oh, and he got lucky. It hung up on the back. I did not anticipate that, guys. Yeah, back up under the wind. You think that might have spun a lot down that slope. So a little drama here in the final few moments at Doral. Meanwhile, McDowell plays his fourth shot here. Yeah, up against the rocks, as you said, Swanee, and um, had to take relief. Now he's got a tough little pitch shot right here because he has to come over a little bit of a crown on that left-hand side, and if he carries that crown a little too far, this ball will kick forward pretty quickly. They took the, the steepness of the slope out of play, shot it out to the right, but conservative play there leaves a very quick putt down the hill. That's a good angle there, Billy. We're seeing just from the side how close Tiger's ball was from backing up and coming down that slope into the water. Yeah, very fortunate, Phil. And uh, now he has to contend with that, but uh, he does have shots to spare, but short game has been marvelous this week. It's certainly not the finish that he wanted, but he knew he had three shots up his sleeve, and he played the hole very conservatively, driving it right, laying it up, and then two putts from there to win. McDowell will be first to go here, clearing the stage for that man. He's asked so often about where his game is as his work continues with Sean Foley. <laughs> Whether or not he's back to the form of 1999 and 2000, those historic epic years on the PGA Tour. He said the aim was not to get back to that level, it was to get better. Well, Tiger's pursuit of excellence is always constant. As dominant as he's been around the course this week, he'll be looking to improve those facets of his game. Huge part here for Graham McDowell to uh, to save third alone. And you would think that this putt would be influenced by that little brow that I was talking about, but it is so much down grain uh, that it appears to be pretty straight. But you kind of get the feeling it may move a little bit to the right. Disappointing double bogey and the beneficiary of that. Adam Scott, 64, start of the day 19th, now finishes tied for third. Incredible. Gutsy effort from McDowell, though. Paul peered the last two rounds with Tiger Woods. No one has dominated his World Golf Championship Series like this man in position for his 17th title. It's been a while, a little bit of a drought. You've got to go back to 2009's Bridgestone Invitational at Firestone for the last time he won. But we've seen the form that has allowed him to dominate through the years this week. And he's back on top as a world golf champion once again. Final round 71. Good enough to get the job done. A bogey at the last. And a two-shot victory over Steve Stricker. His fourth here at Doral. His seventh at the Cadillac Championship. And the Gene Sarazen Cup belongs to Tiger Woods for a seventh time. This is your 76th PGA Tour victory, 17th WGC event. And the fourth time you've lifted a trophy here at Doral. What is it about iconic venues and the best fields that brings out the best in you? Well, I, I, I enjoy the competition and um, I, I like competing. And I think that um, the majors and World Golf Championships and the players, I mean, that's where we all gather. And uh, anytime you have the best players in the world together, um, it's always a bunch of fun. And uh, this week, I, I just happened to come out on top. 
Tiger, congratulations. And it will be my pleasure to present to you the Gene Sarazen Trophy as the 2013 World Golf Championships Cadillac Championship winner. Five wins in his last 19 starts. It's 14 wins in the state of Florida as well, equaling the total he's amassed in the state of his native California. And there you see, he moves to second in the uh, FedEx Cup points race on the PGA Tour. And his second victory of the season, career victory number 76. And he's six behind Sam Snead on the all-time list. This concludes the International Federation of PGA Tours coverage of the World Golf Championships Cadillac Championship from TPC Blue Monster at Doral in Miami, Florida. Congratulations, Tiger Woods, winner of the 2013 World Golf Championships Cadillac Championship.